Thank you very much for coming and talking to us today. Can you Pleasure. give us a little bit of the history of your illness with ABPA? I was diagnosed with what was then called asthma when I was about two. Um, of course, at that time, this was the end of the Second World War, there were very few treatments. Uh, Friars balsam was one favourite, burning herbs was another. But for really from five to maybe fifteen, I was severely limited in what I could do. I probably lost a third of my school time due to um, illness, ill health. I played no sport, did very little exercise. And generally, um, you know, life was pretty constrained. As I got through my teens, uh, inevitably, I think, uh, as it tends to happen, the symptoms uh, uh, improved somewhat, um, and I, I began to take more exercise. But um, in my twenties, the, uh, the symptoms returned. I was having lots of chest infections, and um, widely regarded as, as having asthma and. and the only thing that could be done to relieve it was uh, bronchodilators, things like Ventolin. So when were you actually diagnosed with ABPA? Not until my 40th birthday when, uh, when I was told that uh, the new marvels of, I think, CT scanning had revealed that, that it was ABPA, in other words, aspergillus-related um, uh, inflammation of the, of, of the lungs. Yes. Um, and what sort of treatment did you undergo at that stage 30 years ago? Oh, that was primarily uh, steroids, uh, both oral steroids and inhaled steroids, Beclavate I think it was called, uh, to suppress the uh, aspergillus re related reaction, and bronchodilators, Ventolin, to, um, uh, to reopen the, the lungs, and antibiotics to treat the not infrequent infections. And, and I still, you know, found my lifestyle pretty constrained, and it became more constrained as I became older, obviously. So as the infections got worse, uh, has your treatment changed? Really, um, until uh, around 2005, 2006, I was still relying on steroids, bronchodilators, and antibiotics. So I had a couple of... Um, hospitalization sessions to try and uh, deal with the ABPA, that frankly didn't work. Um, I took some fairly powerful antibiotics to uh, deal with the infections that resulted from ABPA. Uh, the doses of steroids were getting progressively higher and I was developing mild osteoporosis. So. Uh, three or four years ago, that I was frankly given the option, it was either antifungals, uh, which was recognised would have some side effects, or could have some side effects, or continued doses of steroids and antibiotics, uh, which was not a very fruitful way forward, for, for reasons you'll understand. So you started on Nitroconsul about three years ago? Yes, I did, and um, it worked pretty well for a time. But after about six months, I discovered I was uh, suffering from fluid retention. Uh, and at one point, I was told my, by my doctor I was suffering from congestive heart failure, which I thought was uh, not a good thing to happen to me. So I stopped taking uh, itraconazole. And inevitably, the symptoms of uh, ABPA, but also infections, returned. Did you take any other antifungal drugs at that time? Yes, the, the winter following the point at which I'd stopped taking itraconazole, I started taking voriconazole. And that was probably pretty effective in dealing with the uh, symptoms of ABPA, um, but had some very undesirable side effects, principally photosensitivity. And uh, I was becoming very conscious of the fact that I was looking uh, red-faced even when I wasn't cross, so that, that uh, created a number of uh, difficulties. So you had a very bad facial rash? Yes, I mean my face basically went red. I didn't have any uh, rashes, but I was slathering myself in sun cream and uh, staying out of the sun, mm -hmm. and generally uh, sort of, uh, you know, being cooped up in a way that wasn't very, uh, wasn't very attractive. Okay. Um, so this year I believe you started a new treatment, can you tell us a bit about that? Yes, uh, it's the third of the antifungals, so I understand, it's posiconazole. And to be frank, it's, it's, it's had a transformational effect on my life. I, I, 
and my my uh, lung function has improved, uh, at least subjectively. Uh, I can walk further. I can carry a heavy cases. My energy levels have improved. Uh, my outlook on life has improved, and. Uh, with the caveat that I've only been taking it for six months and side effects may yet kick in. With that caveat, it's absolutely revolutionized my quality of life. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm really pleased to hear that. Thank, Thank you. you very much for coming to talk to us Pleasure. today. Pleasure. Thank you.